time management, and how it impacts goal setting. In the last audio on goal setting, we started to talk about time management. Now that we have identified how time management skills affect achieving goals, let's go into this in a little more detail. 1. Shifting Priorities and Crisis Management Management guru Peter Drucker says that crisis management is actually the form of management preferred by most managers. What is ironic is that actions taken before the crisis could have prevented it in the first place. 2. The telephone. Have you ever had one of those days when you just had to answer the phone with Grand Central Station, how can I help you? The telephone, which can be our greatest communication tool, can be our biggest enemy to effectiveness if you don't know how to control its hold over you. 3. Lack of priorities or objectives. This is probably the biggest and most important time waster. It affects all we do, both professionally and personally. Those who accomplish the most in a day know exactly what they want to accomplish beforehand. Just ask Donald Trump. Unfortunately, too many of us think that goals and objectives are yearly things and not daily considerations. This results in too much time being spent on minor things and not the things which are important to our lives. 4. Attempting too much Many people today feel they have to accomplish everything yesterday and don't give themselves enough time to do things properly. This leads only to half-finished projects and no feeling of achievement as all the things are done in a hurry and appear rushed to others. 5. Drop-in visitors The five deadliest words that rob your time are, Have you got a minute? Everybody does it colleagues, the boss, your peers, and your family and friends. Knowing how to deal with interruptions is one of the best skills you can learn. 6. Ineffective Delegation Good delegation is considered a key skill in both managers and leaders of homes and work. The best managers have an ability to delegate work to staff and family members to ensure it is done correctly. This is probably the best way of building a team's morale and reducing your own workload at the same time. The general rule is this. If one of your people around can do it 80% as well as you can, then delegate it. Procrastination. The biggest thief of time is not decision-making but decision avoidance. By reducing the amount of procrastinating you do, you can substantially increase the amount of active time available to you. The inability to say no. The general rule is, if people can dump their work or problems on your shoulders, they will do it. Some of the most stressed people around lack the skill to just say no for fear of upsetting people. Get over it because these people can do it for you. Meetings. Studies have shown that an average professional person spends about 17 hours a week in meetings and about 6 hours in the planning time and untold hours in follow-up. Most people know what they want but have no plan to achieve it except by sheer hard work. What's the point in doing hard work when you don't know how to apply it? Your goals and plans should be reviewed daily and they should also be adjusted regularly as achievements are met. Remember that successful people make lists constantly. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.